Hi, this is Terry Van Oy. Welcome into my online classroom. This is Math Class with Terry V. All right, let's go ahead and sign in. And let's take a look at today's lesson. All right, this question comes from Jasmine, a watcher of one of my videos, and her question's a good one. That is, on a coordinate graph, if you're given the three points of the vertexes of a triangle, the vertices of a triangle, 2, 5, 6, 2, and 2, negative 1, what kind of triangle is it? So we're going to plot these points, connect the lines, and see if we can determine what kind of triangle it is. So here are vertexes, A, B, and C, and what we're going to do is connect them with the lines and make a nice little triangle out of it. So since we have it on graph paper, we can kind of guess, but mathematically we're going to try to figure out, is this an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, a right triangle, or maybe a combination of that? Do you remember what a triangle is called when none of the sides are the same length? Scalene. So we have a lot of choices. Let's see if we can kind of figure this out. First of all, the distance between A and C, let, let's find the the uh, lengths of each side of the triangle. So I'm going to just make a list up here. All right, we have AC, which is this vertical line, and that's pretty easy. We can just count units one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six units long. Now let's go A to B. This is going to be a little more challenging because it's a diagonal line. Okay, and what we're going to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, and based on right triangles. And the same for BC, because it's another diagonal segment. So I'm going to make this list here. And then let's take a look. I'm going to change colors. And let's see. If I go from A to B, notice how it is going to go straight across. Count the units, 4. Then it goes down. Goes across 4 and down Three. Okay, that's a right triangle with legs of four and three. So let's just go ahead and use the distance formula. The distance formula is taking the A and the B coordinates, subtracting the X's, subtracting the Y's, and doing some other kinds of mathematics. All right, but to keep it simple, the distance between A and B is the square root of those legs. Let's see. From A to B going across, that's 4, okay? We can just look at that visually. Or we can subtract the 2 and the 6 here, right? So we have 4, but remember in the formula, we have to square that, all right? Then we're going to add the square of the distance on the other leg, which we said was 3, all right? So in this case, 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, the square root of 25, when we add those together, is of course 5. Alright? So, 5 units. Believe it or not, it's still a diagonal distance, but it happens to be 5. It's a special right triangle. Alright, now the same thing here. If we go from B to C, notice again we're doing 3, and from C straight across there, that's 4. So it looks like our distance is going to be for BC the same thing. Okay? We're going to have one leg, 4. We're going to square that. We're going to add the other leg, 3. We're going to square that. turns out to be the same. All right. So what does that tell you? Well, that means that this leg here is congruent to this leg here. We can tell by looking that is not a right angle. So the bottom line is that is an isosceles triangle. All right. Thank you, Jasmine, for that question.